What is up, everybody? Season 7, Episode 3, Better's the Light, Take 2. Uh, technical difficulties, as per usual. Why wouldn't that happen right away? Uh, at least it was right away and not, uh, you know, 20 minutes into the show. We did a whole nice recap. We talked about how these guys, for the most part, stink uh, at making picks at, at, you know, just apparently not seeing any of the winners at BovadaSportsbook.com. And, and that, that in, therein lies the problem. Then we dove right into, uh, you know, how bad those picks were, the shape of an octagon. It was, it was a whole thing. Mike was recapping his, his weekend uh, at, at the UFC in Atlantic City. He was amazed at how good Chris Weidman could look after all that time off. Right, Mike? Well, we could have just – hold on, a... hold on. We could have just done it again. <laughs> I don't. We didn't need, like, the, like the Spark Notes version of a five-minute conversation we had that Greg gave us. Like, I mean, we could have just started talking again. I had to just fill everybody <laughs> back in on what they, what they missed with that five minutes. Yeah, the UFC event was cool. I gave my whole spiel on it. It was cool. Bad refereeing. The Weidman pop was cool. He cheated. And he's definitely on the juice. Mike, how are the bad? That's alleged. Uh, how are the bathroom lines? Uh, um, horrible because the stadium not big. Uh, it was like 90% male to female ratio. Didn't really think about that ahead of time. That And there was there couldn't be more than like six bathrooms in that place. And your lucky charm? Where was he? Lucky Charm was not there till an hour before at the at the at the casino, so I took a beating there. It makes sense. It makes yeah. sense. Mark, how are we? I'm good. I'm good. I, I forget what I said last time. Oh. Matt confused me, so I'm not gonna not gonna go down that road again. But we're here. We're back. We're back. You know? The best we're, fight we're of the night. Place. The best fight care. of the night was uh there was some dude during the main event trying to fight the entire row behind him. God. So they're trying to, he was trying to fight them. He finally gets escorted out by security. Then I go outside uh, and uh, we were walking outside back to our hotel and he's out there, got blood above his eyebrow. So he probably already got into it. Some dude goes, go Patriots to him. And the guy didn't like that, even though he was wearing a Patriots hat. They got into it. They barreled into a cop car. That might have been the best fight of the night. I don't know where the cop was though. I, I don't. I was so not in his car. But there was a dog in the car. Like the the canine unit was barking, going crazy. And then they just dog kept in the car. <laughs> Classic dog in the car situation. Yeah. And they get moving down the road, and then I don't know what happened after that. But there's no way that guy got home safe. If you if you would have smashed the cop's back window because he left his dog in the car, would you have gotten arrested? Yes. That's a good question. I'd say yes. I mean, you can't leave a dog in the car. Were the windows cracked? Well, yeah. Well, like, it's like a cop car, no, so they have you the, can. Uh, the cage. The cage. Mike. It's a cage. Yeah. Like the octagon cage. But was there air going into the car? Is what I'm asking. I'd assume so. If the windows down to the walls, it was like one in the morning. It wasn't it wasn't hot sweat. out? I mean, it wasn't it wasn't cold, but it could have been freezing. What if it was too cold for the dog to be out there? I've had enough of you already. I well, well, I don't really understand what you're. I mean, I'm just asking logical questions. About your... Sometimes a blind squirrel doesn't find a nut, Greg. Uh, you know what, Matt? That's very correct. Some, it's more reasonable. Sometimes a blind f- a squirrel doesn't find a nut. And speaking of a blind squirrel finding a nut. Oh, AC Beer Fest. The commercial's on TV right now. Oh, yeah? Here come. I got to film it for uh, Zed. Zed's in the AC Beer Fest commercial. If anyone is wondering what he looks like. <laughs> he, lo- he looks exactly like Macho Man. <laughs> one, of those, one of those situations where... Uh, we used to we used to have a good time there. I I mean, just O'Neal Cruz might be the worst player in baseball. He just might be the worst player in baseball. That yeah, guy stinks. True. Well, it, it, it is true at this at this exact yeah, moment. I I lose bets when. I mean, unbelievable! Well, I never uh, seen a guy. I never seen a guy give ass. more losers. Nobody, but, nobody uh, at Bavada yeah. could understand how many losers this guy right here, who's saying "wah wah," gives out every single night. This guy gives out losers. It's, it's not even a question. You think minus season. seventeen? You, 
I just, I, we're talking singles, doubles, doesn't matter. No what? one gives out more losers. You think minus seventeen point four three units last week for Mike was bad? I, if, if we if we went through the daily picks, oh, the daily picks spin home runs and then and monster hit parlays, which is all like, losers. Yeah, the, this one had nothing to do with you. This one had nothing to do with you, so I don't know why you're even talking. But a home the home run parlays, yeah, I could pick a little bit better. But the hit parlays, fifteen picks to hits. The odds of that hitting are plus a gazillion. But again, this one had nothing to do with you, so I'm not sure why you were even involved. Because it's you wang wang all the time about. I, it's not wang wang. It's Cruz not wang wang. Stink was wang wang. Was zero for four tonight with two strikeouts. Well, Bryce Harper must stunk before last night then. Yeah, he did. He stunk in those games prior. Absolutely. Wah, wah. I'm Greg. Wah. This guy. This guy's unbelievable. Could have swore you were Mike. Oh. But I'm not wah wah. It's Greg. I was just demonstrating. Yeah, Mike would never wah wah. Mike's Jeff McNeil. Mike wah wah about Fernando Tatis literally an hour and a half ago. An hour and a half ago, he wah wah. Uh, you, you said he stinks. You said he stinks. So. You can go back and look at all the messages. I'm always right when it comes to the messages. That's just the way it works. It yeah, doesn't matter, folks. You said he stunk hitting that game. You said O'Neill Cruz is the worst in the league. There's a difference of way away. I don't think that's what I said. I think he was the worst player in the league. How's Juan Soto doing on the Yankees? He probably he also He went for five today, but I think he's already got a home run or two. He's playing pretty well, pretty sure. Threw somebody out at home the other day. Dude, the Phillies cream jerseys look like – they look y- like a gross yellow. They're darker or something this yeah, year. Yeah, there's not, definitely a different color. It's weird. They're not it's the just clean that new jersey. Cream. It's like you're not a good teammate, according to that one chart that was put out years ago. It's a very deep-cut reference. I have no idea what yeah. you're talking about. It was about hydration. Do you remember when it went viral on the internet? It was about hydrating your body. It was like bad teammates, good teammates. Oh, it was like the college coach, the yeah, college yeah. football coaches thing. Yes. Okay. I also have a question sure. for scientists out this there. Gatorade, is, this Gatorade water by Gatorade? It's pretty good. You know, what's alkaline water? I just wanted regular water. The blue. I, I, and it's I grabbed water. the wrong one at the store today. Alkaline's like the battery. That's what I'm saying. Like, should I drink this or am I going to be electrically charged? You no, know, there's definitely some some battery juice in there. Yeah, you're drinking literally this, the inside of this. I'm gonna be a yeah. I'm gonna be like a. I'm gonna, there's gonna be, if you if you put some voltage to me, like I'd be like this is. A, <laughs> you're gonna be walking around. I don't with, think with, with he's a, gonna put some drum. voltage to you. If you took a little electrical tester and you put it on me, and it'd be like, dude. It has greater hydration because it increases the hydrogen in the water than a, than regular water. That doesn't make much sense if we're being honest. What about the oxygen? Yeah, it says alkaline water enthusiasts claim that its increased hydrogen provides greater hydration than regular water, especially after a hard workout. What if I didn't work out? Paralyze <laughs> <laughs> the problem. What's the issue there? Like I always thought, like when people talk about doing like a cycle of steroids, like, well, I'm not working out, so it really wouldn't help for me. I would just be on steroids. Yeah. It has a higher pH level than that of plain tap water. Explain it to me like I'm five. Does that have anything to do with the Phillies? Or is that a Philly thing? pH? Is it Falcaline? Says it could prevent. Some really? say that it could prevent disease, but more research Ooh, needs to be right. done to, for those claims. Mm, so somebody okay just somebody reading. just said it. <laughs> <laughs> no, Mike just said it. I'm just reading what's. Uh, it could also cause cancer, but this, more research has to be done. From Catherine Z- Zaratsky, RDLD. Oh, I you know what? She actually knows what she's talking about. I read a uh, article that she did in the 2019 <laughs> Wall Street Journal in regards to whether or not walking 60 minutes a day truly helps your blood pressure cycle throughout the years. And she did a good she had a good write up on that. Isn't the Wall Street Journal like just financial <laughs> you're thinking of the wall it's a pink floyd album huh. she's been writing right. uh she's been writing for the mayo clinic since 1999 out of minnesota oh, i heard the research had to be done i don't know mm-hmm. the mayo clinic graduate you know what i don't get 
that's such an unhealthy name for a healthy organization. <laughs> the Mayo <laughs> Clinic, like, uh, I, I mean, I don't understand this Mayo. show in Mayo. any way, or how your brain works. I don't think I know how my brain works. <laughs> he's, not, he's not wrong, though. Right? Like, I don't understand why it's raining so much at all times of the day, all day, every day. April showers, showers bring May showers. flowers. Do in sure. fact bring May flowers. Snag that, snag that farmer's almanac. I think it's not, it's That's not good. raining this weekend. That's good. Yeah, can't wait to. We can finally post scores again in Pennsylvania. Yeah. Shout out Pennsylvania for uh, lifting the ban on not being able to post oh, scores. Well, we were all worried. As if it doesn't do the same thing every year. Every year, Greg. What? what? I stopped listening after you know, we started crazy talking that about Joel Embiid's back playing basketball. I could have sworn our guy on here, our medical guy on here, Greg Crone, MD, had it hidden out for the whole season. He's back way before the playoffs. Oh, I'm sorry. Did the Sixers lie about his actual injury? Ah, that's, that's crazy. Who would do something like that? What do you mean lie about his act? Language? He was just scared to play against Joe. Dr. Greg Crone. Mm, no, it's weird. It's weird. Mm-hmm. Just completely lie about everything. Lie about his status. Lie about all that stuff. It's Mr. Full of Crap and Dr. I have no Full. idea yeah. what you're saying, about? to be fair. Which one of us has the PhD? <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. Roma. They, they'll just pay Roma. the fine. They'll just pay the fine, and it, it's what all good. Fine? What are you talking about? We're going to be fine for him not being listed on the injury report yesterday until two day, two hours before the game, stupid. He was listed on the injury not, report. They didn't change his status from out so until questionable until you're two you're hours prior you're to the game. That's what you're talking so, no, about. No, that's what I'm referencing, dummy. They lied about his injury the entire time is my point, but they continued to lie about it up until yesterday. Why, why would they lie? What's the benefit? Conspiracy. Give him more rest and then not get fines the entire time. Duh. Ah. It's not really that crazy. Conspiracy theory, Greg. Is All here. right. Not really a conspiracy theory. It is a conspiracy theory. I wouldn't go that far. It, it doesn't be. matter. They're not going to win anything, so it really doesn't matter. It's a conspiracy We should theory. get Zach Eady instead of Embiid. That would be electric. We should, we should trade Embiid. A true big man? A true big man who can play There's back to the no basket way. basketball? <laughs> no, Zach Eady you. is going to be good in the NBA. Yeah. You have no data to prove That's that. That's correct. You kind of Even do. though I agree with Mark. <laughs> what data do you prove that Zach is not going to be he's good like, in the NBA? In the NBA now, he is much faster paced than college he's basketball. Not very he's athletic. a slow. Yeah, he's a slow paced big. He's like maybe Boban. There's no other slow paced bigs in the NBA. Boban, magnificent career in the NBA. Yeah, but that's not what he's you said. It may not matter in the, in the playoffs, but he he's a regular season guy. Eh. Long career. Eh. And what then, about did, that did other guy? Did you say he was, was going to be a superstar? Even I mean, though, again, I agree with Mark. I don't know why I'm yeah, fighting on that. I don't know. <laughs> you're, you're just fired up about it being played. Conspiracy theory. Yeah. It, well, it's just because you guys are going to, again, you're going to get your hopes up. Put your I, same, I, No, I'm just saying I need you to put you to put your hand up and say you were wrong. That's all I want. I don't care about that. What was this. I wrong about? You said he was going to play. You said he was out the rest How, of the year. I was wrong. Oh, it whoa, doesn't whoa. matter. Clip that. Clip that. He didn't even, he barely did it. He barely did it. I don't care. Clip it. That's the first time I've ever heard Greg say I'm wrong. I mean, I've, yeah. I've admitted I've been wrong about things multiple times. Yeah, you're wrong. I was wrong about inviting you to be a part of the show. I was wrong. <laughs> oh. <laughs> he, he's such a clown. I can't believe he's going to walk away as he's yelling at me. <laughs> that was one of your worst wrongs. <laughs> I mean, also, I, I did hear it because the head- headphones were up. I got these new headphones; they're much louder. I was gonna say, you know, you'll hear that when he listens back. I, I really want to do the half baked right now, where I, I point at two people and say one thing, and then look at Mike and say, "You're cool." But you're listen, say, cool, Mike. The original idea for the podcast, those two guys weren't even involved. So it was clearly a joke, Mark. Relax. I miss, I miss those days when I was uh, involved. Yeah. Um, <laughs> well, regardless, Joel Embiid returning and the Sixers still being misery in the playoffs aside, um, there is a lot of sports more. action. There's, there's a ton of stuff. I mean, obviously, you know, 
you had the opening week in baseball. That's now kicked off. I say we dive right into what is already a light Thursday slate on Bavada for baseball. Um, but that's just that's just my opinion. Uh, uh, you know, which is dumb. Uh, why why is it dumb? Go ahead, please tell me. Just you and talking in general, dumb. That's me, me and, and me and talking in general is that, dumb. That's just rude. Mike that's Mike dumb. does words. I <laughs> literally said just you and yeah. I don't know. Thanks. What did you say? Yeah. I said, said just you, you and talking in general, like you, you talking. and talking Mike, dumb, you and talking dumb, you and talking and dumb, you and talking and dumb. Mike cr- crushing the English <laughs> language. Mike's like it's common sense. I take back the more cool. jobs. <laughs> but he's been eliminated. <laughs> um, but no, there is uh, a ton of a ton of baseball that's been going on, um, but only a couple games listed on there for tomorrow. Mark, where are you at in baseball? I'm going to start with the Pirates, minus 131 over the National. O'Neill Cruz. Stinks. Pirates have been playing well. They, uh, are, I believe they're still undefeated, right? Or did they lose yet? No, I think they've lost one or two. Is Vinny, is Vinny Velo on that team? Vinny Velo is on that team. But, uh, you know, Pirates have been playing well. We know the Nationals are going to stink. So give me the Pirates, minus 131. It's on they're, my card as well. They're 5-0, and but they are down 5-3 in the eighth inning to the Nationals right now. Probably because O'Neal Cruz stinks. I'm on the Pirates as well. <laughs> um, I have a different lock of the week, but now I really want to make their minus their run line my lock of the week. You won't. Nah, I have I have a lock. I I learned my lesson. I have my lock. I have to stay with it. O okay. two to start the season with locks. Tough scene. What's his name? Pulled a stunt. Who? Luke. How did he pull a stunt? He got knocked out. He he dove. He took a dive. Oh my goodness! I'm conspiracy, um, conspiracy theory. Mike's talking theory. fight fixing. That's what Mike's talking. Mike's talking fight fixing. I'm the conspiracy guy. What the guy that beat him said? He said he saw him talking to James Krause after. He gave him a I, clip. It may or may not have been a, a video he posted on Monday on April Fools, but. Kit, you're you're this is this is the worst. Matt baseball. It was an April Fool's fix. thing, Greg. All right. Regard. You're doing April Fool's jokes on the third. Yeah, no, no, apparently. this video was posted on the first. Actually, uh, Ellie De La Cruz may actually be the worst player in baseball. He's, if we're being he's honest. overrated. Miami Marlins plus one twenty seven to lose. Actually, I'm taking the Cardinals minus one fifty two. Well, can't bet against my hometown team. That is true. Which the Battle Hawks don't, aren't they? They emerged this week, this past weekend, or are they up yeah, they this lost. weekend? No, they. I thought they. I thought I saw them lose on the sixty-four yard field. No, goal. Was, from that, the that was them. Was that against the Brahmas? Yeah, might be a Brahmas guy. I think so. So I believe the quarterback for the Brahmas is Corral. Ma- is Matt yeah. Corral. So it's I'm okay with it. Then I might be a Brahmas. I got guy. a weird. I got a weird relationship there. Dude, we just made two errors in this. I interview. can't believe you. The Phillies? It's yeah, the that was a bad drop by JT. The I can't going all over. I can't believe you didn't change allegiances to the Brahmas once Matt Corral was given the the starting nod. I'm also on the Marlins for plus one twenty uh, seven on Bavada for the record. Corral's the QB for the tough. Birmingham Stallions. Ah, okay. Which no, okay. which I believe are, they're a. Uh... Oh no, they're both. I'm trying to think. You could probably have a USFL team and an XFL team. It's all the same. It, yeah, it's all USFL. Still, I think there's still a little bit of coming from your own league type thing. You're still going to have a team in each league. We're doing oh, AFL geez, versus uh, NFL? We're doing team. AFL, NFL here? Yeah. Did they merge? Yeah, did yeah they did. They it's, all one, yeah. it's all one league now. It's like how Mike's also a Celtics fan because they're an original six. That's true. And That's a good point. Yeah. That's a great point. What? Lovely day. Yeah, Lovely conferences day. are USFL versus XFL. So. All right. Well, so, thanks for breaking that down. Well, the Twins. Yeah. Twins minus 154 in my last pick in baseball is the Royals run line minus one and a half plus 135 against the White Sox. They're terrible. Yeah. I'm so, on the, the it's Royals actually gone down. Sorry. It's actually gone down to plus 130. So that's my. I'm bad. on the Royals minus one and a half plus. I think it's 135 unless it changed. It changed to 130. I'm, I'm on, on that. The that's what line. I was just saying. But uh, yeah. The XF- Mark, what were, hold on. Hold on. Mark, what were you saying? 
I'm on the Royals money line minus 163 in that game. Okay, my, Mike, back to you. The Stallions are a USFL team. They're in the USFL conference, and the Battlehawks are an XFL team in the XFL conference. So I didn't realize we were going to go back to breaking down the UFL. <laughs> um, I should have never went back to you. I technically, he could like both teams, and the only time he would have to cheer against it is in the championship. It's true. It's not it because I grew up in St. Louis mm-hmm. as a St. Louis fan. I can't. Can't do I always How many forget places that. did you and grow up? Tiamu in there too for the DC Defenders. It's tough. I got is a lot. Act- of, I got a lot of connections. Is he actually their quarterback? Yeah, their MVP oh, rankings. He looks like he. I think Corral's first. Obviously. Uh, then Tiamu is fourth. So who knew? Uh, who, who knew our our look back at the uh, <laughs> the intro to. The intro to the uh, the first week of the the Major League Baseball season would lead to a UFL breakdown. <laughs> I mean, UFL championship odds. The Battlehawks are they're second uh, in terms of odds at Bovada. They're plus four fifty. Well, Put them on my card. Only the Stallions, led by Matt Corral, are plus two twenty. I mean, this is I had to put them on your card. It's tough when you have a good quarterback like Matt Corral playing in a junior league division. It's like when it's like if I would have played triple A twice if I wasn't good enough to play in the majors. That's a good point. Like other like that's that's like what it would have been, but I was good enough to play in the majors twice. It's a very, very good point. Huh. Unlike other <laughs> people we so know that had to play two years in the majors. All right, are we good in baseball? <laughs> I mean, yes. Wow, double B. Some of us didn't. Yeah, some of us didn't even play little league. We had to play Babe Ruth, which isn't even real baseball. That's true. That's a great point. That's a great point. Um, or no, Cal Ripken, not Babe. All right, Ruth. move along. Move along. <laughs> um, all right, the wrong one. Are we good? We're good in baseball then. Aberdeen, Maryland. I took the Twins. Minus one what? and a half, plus one forty-five. My last pick. The extra hydrogen they put in this water is good. You're literally drinking battery juice, dude. You are going to – I don't know what you're going to do. You're going to walk around with a drum. You're going to turn into a Wait, rabbit. did they say hydrogen or helium? <laughs> <They're> gonna... <laughs> um, <sighs> he's going he's gonna to get static electricity, touch the light switch, so all of the electricity in his neighborhood is going to go out. It's going to be a real Who's a, who's an electric guy? Um, that's a uh, superhero. I was gonna Doctor say Doctor Strange. Is he electricity? Uh, the bad no. guy. Uh, uh, who's Jamie Foxx? I don't know. Electro. Ooh. Come on, guys. Is it electro? I, I didn't <laughs> oh know. man! Come on, guys. Oh, right. That one's on us. Man, my <laughs> bad. I didn't know some random uh, comic book character. It's not yeah. random. It's I'm more Spider-Man. of a sand guy. The guy from Wings who played Sandman. Thomas, uh, oh man, Hayden shirt, Hayden shirt. Yeah, there it is. Thank you, Lowell from uh, Wings. That's a good one. Great, great character. Ah, yeah, I, Lowell, Lowell from Wings. That plays still to this day. I think I've watched the first two episodes of Wings like thirty-seven times because all the time I'm like, I go back and watch Wings, and it's on I don't know whatever random streaming service, and I always get the first two episodes, and I forget about it. Here's a question: Do you know anybody that works at the airport? No, no, Roy. Roy yeah. works there. Roy? He's the, he's one of the characters in Wings. Move on. Keep going. No, yeah, I don't <laughs> know anybody that works. Like I just don't know anybody in my personal life that works at the airport. Well, but there's a lot of jobs there. It is a small airport off Nan- in Nantucket. Like it's not. Well, I'm, I yeah. Well, I'm just talking about the airport anywhere <laughs> oh, in the world. All right. Well, <laughs> not a specific fictional airport <laughs> in the show Wings. <laughs> Love take her down to the streets. It's a wing song. Wing song. <laughs> um, I'm pretty sure it is. Role models <laughs> reference today. Uh, all right. I don't know if it's the same episode or Minotaur. not. Minotaur. <laughs> uh, have you guys watched The Accountant? No. Yeah. Oh my god. I have. I, I liked it. It was good. There may be yeah, another one. Actually, I know The Accountant too. <laughs> Electric Boogaloo. <laughs> Tax year number two. <laughs> Yeah, uh, yeah. I don't know what it's going to be called, but I, I'm excited for it. I'm actually, I actually enjoyed it. It was just action packed, a lot of fun. I watched Blue Streak. We talked about that. Oh, great um, one. That was fun. Great one. Love. Blue All right. I've been watching. Have you guys been watching Sabrina, the Teenage Witch? 
No, but it's the newer like one where they make it scary, similar to like a Riverdale situation. Yes, is that the one, one was... that came out in like 2018 or something? Like yeah, the, the uh, I watched the it actor, then. One of the actors from there just just passed away in a motorcycle accident. Yeah, I think his name is Chance Pardomo. That stunk. Rest in peace. Yeah. That that was really sad. But the show is very good and very scary. Yeah, it's a good one. It's a very scary show. The Chilling Adventures Not at all. of Sabrina. That's it. Yes, That's the Chilling. Adventures I watched the first season or two. I think. And Not at all like the show we used to watch. Let me tell you what, if Melissa Joan Hart doesn't show up like uh, What's-Her-Name does in Wednesday, I'm going to be out at some point. Okay. What's-Her-Name that showed Ricci? up? Christine Ricci. If she doesn't, if yeah, if we don't get a if we don't get a tie-in somehow with Melissa Joan Hart and the guy from Hot Ones, I'm out. Why would the guy from Hot Ones be there? Wasn't he in one of the Melissa Joan Hart shows? I don't think so. No idea. Are you, do you think he's the guy from Clarissa Explains It All that came through the window? Who's the host of Hot Ones? Uh, Chris I, Schoenberger. I'm pretty sure that guy is only known for Hot Ones. Yeah, like, Sean Evans is his name. Sean Chris O'Neill Chris is Schoenberger. the guy from Clarissa Explains It All. <laughs> well, Maybe that's what I'm thinking of. All right, guys. Sean O'Malley. Sean O'Malley. We've gotten like no, nope, no, nope, Sean O'Neill. Yeah, this guy's just a YouTuber. Yeah, no, I just said it. Mike, Mike O'Malley. Let's go to Mo. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, all right. Mo to explain the rule. All right, Jesus Christ, we got to go to soccer. It took way too long. I hope everybody was done their baseball picks. Uh, pro- my guess is probably not, but regardless, we'll go to soccer. Mike Crystal Palace blew a big one. They blew a big one. Yeah, I mean, we just ex- should have got three again. Just too many blown goals or, or blowing games at the end. Should have had three there. Should have got at least a point yesterday against Southampton. Now we got to play Man City on Saturday. It's gonna we be took tough. three. Go, and that's, you, you're not getting a point there. Probably not. They we rested still- all their good players today, other than Foden. Who had a hat Foden, trick? He doesn't, you know. Foden doesn't need the rest. Foden's good. We took uh Chesney. Ches- Ches- <laughs> Shut up. We took that point. We took that point from you. It was it was with the the, the goal of the year, I think, in the Premier League. Um It was a great unbelie- finish by Chris Wood. Unbelievable right goal. And then followed by uh a nice little win over Fulham yesterday. And then we'll take down Tottenham. I'll just put it on the on the board now. Forest uh plus five fifty against Tottenham. See that line's moving. It's moved on Bavada since uh, since I last looked at it, it's gone down. So that means the action's coming in on, on the Forest boys. So we're going there. Mark, what do you got I'm in soccer? Tottenham minus one and a half plus one. I mean, you're just a mean person. I think they're just a much Three. better team than Nottingham Forest, and they're battling for a Champions League spot. Well, we're I battling to Mike. stay in the league, so you tell no, me. Mike's I think a they're going down. I'm a Mike's a mean person. Didn't I have a – You're not Alvarez. Hit a didn't run I have – Of course he did. <laughs> Didn't I have a future that Nottingham was going to get relegated? Yeah, I think so. It's somewhere in the history books. We got to find that because if that hits, we'll count it. Might hit. Mark soccer. Awesome. Yeah, because the league, the league's against us, stealing points from us for no reason. Man City and Man U cheat constantly. Man U, Man U's ta- they're taking away their corporate credit cards it's not because of how U. bad they're cheating. Chelsea and Man City are the ones that are really like. What does that the, mean? The violations. There was like all these. They have like 115 violations against like the fair play rules and stuff. So they're taking away their corporate. What are like somebody buy somebody pizza? <laughs> no, no. no. <laughs> Manu has a company that's doing like, hey, we got to fix our budgeting, and they just took away everybody's corporate credit cards. <laughs> How are you going to keep track of like the lunch? I have no idea. <laughs> like, have no idea. <laughs> Mark, it was soccer. Gunners. Minus one sixty five against uh, Brighton. That's my that's my first pick. Nice little win today. Rested some players, and uh, yeah, we're in, we're right in this race. We're right in this race. Three horse race. We're right there. It's gonna come down for what? Bottom there. of the table? Top of the table. We are currently sitting at the top. Arsenal's in the top. They are currently in the lead. <laughs> they have. Don't believe Liverpool's that. got a game in hand. Took. Oh, well, Liverpool's got a bird in hand. <laughs> Took four <laughs> points out of possible six from Man City this year. Sure. Is that good? Only team to keep Man City to zero goals at home. 
Wow, you proud of that? I, yeah. That was a pretty crazy stat. They scored in like right, 16 right. straight home games before. Arsenal's literally never won the Premier League. That is completely false. Yeah. Champions League. That's that true. is true. <laughs> He was bound to get one of them, right? <laughs> I was going to say World Cup after that. <laughs> They've never won the Italian Supercopa. Uh, all right, Mike, what do you have in, in soccer? Uh, yeah, I'm going to go with Chelsea Man U. They play tomorrow. I'm going to go with the draw, plus 320. Ooh. I'm taking Man U in that game, plus, uh, plus 240. Hmm. I do have a draw, though. Luton Bournemouth draw, plus 290 currently. Matt, anything in soccer? Yeah, I'm going to take the Wanderers plus 145 over West Ham. Um, just like what they're doing out there on the pitch right now. They got a great front seven that really attacks the goal. <laughs> My last pick was West Ham over the Wolves plus 175. Um, How many players are on the field in soccer at a time? 11. <laughs> with the goalie? That's with the goalie, yes. I mean, the front okay. seven actually made sense. I don't know if you're, that's what you're asking, but it did make sense. Lay low in sound. Okay, Mark picks. Man, Mark. Man United plus real good one. <laughs> minus 143 against Liverpool this weekend. Need the Red Devils to come through with a draw against Liverpool. I got a question. Yeah, what is it? Do we like um, the blue catcher's gear from JT Real Muta this year? It's different, but I like it. He only wears it. Different. He only wears it when we're wearing these uniforms, right? I have no idea. I've just, I've just been seeing it. Well, I think we wore these uniforms at least twice. I we think it's I think three times because we wore it Sunday. We've played like nothing but day games. Yeah. They wear them in day games until they end up with those stupid blue jerseys that they're going to wear on well, Friday. I, I think those are going to be cool. <sighs> You're you one like of the, the only union. ones. I, I don't see what's wrong with the blue and whatever. The blue, the both hints of blue. The problem, I, think the, I think the lettering could be a little bit better. The problem is we've blue. waited for these jerseys for, what, five years? You got DC has the cool cherry blossom ones. And, the DC and this is sick. what we're getting? We haven't even like, really seen them yeah, yet, why, did, why didn't we do cherry blossoms? I see cherry blossoms all the time. Why does DC get to claim such a cool flower? That's, 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 let's close out <laughs> soccer. Jesus, Mike Hicks. Aston Villa minus 155, my last pick against Brentford. Mark, anything else? Uh, No, that's it. So just, what was the man you? It was plus one. Plus one minus 143 against Liverpool. Minus 143. All right. Uh, and then, Matt, I'm assuming you don't have anything else in soccer? No. All right, good. Let's go to, I didn't even look. I just assumed there was tennis this week. Um. But we'll go to that next. Michael, start with you. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go with Anj Jabor, plus four, minus 110, and Anj Jabor, plus 200. I know Danielle Collins is playing good, but I don't know. I feel like Anj Jabor's had a better career and is just a better player. So I'm going to take that value. All right, Mark, I'll go to you. I'm going to take a Magda Lynette, plus five, minus 110 against Jessica Pagula. Every time I bet, with Jessica Pugula, we get screwed. And uh, right now, it's pretty easy. We got the homeland. so That works. Matt, anything in tennis? Uh, yeah. I think I'm going to dive in the tennis realm today. I'm taking – I'm in the ATP Estoral. I'm taking a Nuno Borges, plus 170. Because I'm a big fan of the Borges they, on HBO. There is no other person <laughs> in the world that has ever watched that show. It's like episode 172 it's, or whatever. And he has brought up that show at least like five to eight times. Okay. And I've never said, no one's ever <laughs> yeah, talked you, about it. You repeat, the same, it up. you repeat the same thing every time that there's no way anybody ever actually likes that show. It, it's because it's true. <laughs> I've never heard anyone else talk about it ever. Nor have I. Jeremy Irons was great <laughs> in the Borgias. Honestly, Jeremy Irons was better in the Borgias than he was as Scar in the Lion I, King. I knew that's what you were going to say, and there's no way. There's no way. First of all, it was also on Showtime, wasn't it? It definitely wasn't HBO. <laughs> I thought it was... 
Oh, it was Showtime. You're right. <laughs> I don't know what channel it was on. First of all, the show came out in 2011. Uh, about 13 <laughs> years old. Yeah, and I'm begging Showtime <laughs> to bring it back. We need more. Right, this is me. What we need that? more Borgias. <laughs> what was that? We need more. We need more Borgias. Oh man! I mean, I don't. I don't even know. Uh, Mike, your next tennis pick. Uh, Layla Fernandez plus one twenty-five against Sloane Ma- Stevens. Mark, I'm taking Richard Gasquet plus one fifteen against. Dominic team time team. Well, his time's up. <laughs> Got him. Oh man. What if it's pronounced Borges. team though? The Borges, uh, <laughs> Borges research. It's unbelievable. Matt, yeah. anything else in, in tennis before we move on? Uh, I thought you were going to ask if I have anything else in Borges. <laughs> no, no. no never. I can't find the lines on Bavada. <laughs> he was on Borges. <laughs> so no, I was never going to ask. <laughs> He's only in Oh, never mind. Twenty nine episodes. I thought it said he was only in six episodes. Who? Oh. <laughs> Jeremy Irons. Jeremy Irons. Yeah. He's the he is the Borgia. <laughs> what are you talking? Like, what do you mean? Borgia. He's the Pope. He's the guy that becomes the Pope. He's the head of the family. He's the head of the Catholic Church, Mike. In the, in the show, the Borgias was the real Pope. The guy he plays he was an actual Pope in the in the world. I misread it. I misread it. He is the Borgia. <laughs> He's Pope Borgia. Anything else in tennis, Matt? No, nah, I'm good. All right, Mike. Mike. In three seasons. I got no Mike, more tennis. No more Mark, tennis. I'm good in tennis. You should go, All Mike. Right. Take some time, <laughs> go watch it, and then report back to me. <laughs> I'll take we need to get a trend out. going. We need to get a trend going on TikTok. Have the Showtime like uh, executive see the people. Wow, people are really talking about the Borgias. <laughs> like, what's, like, why is the Borgias trending on TikTok right now? You're so dumb. Well, balls in your court, Showtime. Let's go to the NHL. Uh, where the puck is being dropped, the Flyers are collapsing uh, into themselves, but there's a ton of hockey. Everybody has under 10 games left in the regular season. We're almost at playoff hockey time, the best postseason in all of sports. Um, I- I'm going right for it. We're-, we're going full jinx mode. I'm taking the Capitals, even money, uh, at Bavada. That's my, that's my first pick. Uh, I thought about making it the lock, but that feels like almost too much. Of a uh, of a, a reverse jinx situation, so uh, I'll take the Penguins minus one twenty because we're going to jinx both of them. Because if the Penguins win that game, they're one point behind. Uh, is there a way they both lose? It's a bad no matchup point? for everybody. It you just got to hope somebody wins in regulation. Ugh. It's not great, Mike. Hockey. Uh, I'm going to go with the Canadians plus one forty five. They play the Lightning, who are playing a tough game right now, and they got to travel to Montreal. I guess from Toronto. I assume that's not far. It's not not that. You have no, you have no idea. Just because they're in Canada, <laughs> Mike's like uh, Pennsylvania. They only got transfer. They only got to go to L.A. So it's not right that far. It's a six-hour flight. Montreal to Toronto is literally a seven-hour flight. Can't be true. Look it up. <laughs> Look it this up. Is the time, this is the time where you said. Like Chicago or so or something wasn't far or wasn't close to Canada, and it was like a fifteen minute ride over a bridge. Well, I said what is probably Detroit. not right, but yeah, you're Detroit, just assuming whatever. because two places in Canada exist, they're, both they're on close. The right side. Well, or like, I'm gonna guess that that's not a seven hour flight because it's a five and a half hour drive. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but no, you got to go or the, the other for thirty seven minutes. Know, minutes. You can't fly directly to. You got to go because the head. Here you go, Matt. Around. Here you go, Matt. Up and Toronto around. is north of Buffalo, and Montreal is north of Vermont. So, where's Quebec? In Montreal, or no, no, no Montreal is no, in not, Quebec. Um, yeah. yeah, come on, know your provinces. Listen, yeah. what's the capital of me. Canada? Ottawa, Sheboygan. Correct. Nope, it's Ottawa. Sheboygan Wisconsin. is the home of... That's not even in the right country. I know, it's Wisconsin. Still, still not the capital, but it is the home of the Kenosha Kickers. Ohio. Um, Letter Kenny. My, my last pick is the Panthers, minus 155. 
uh, against the Senators. Senators stink, and they're just ready to close the season out. Mike Hawk. Speaking of Ottawa. Hurricanes. Predators. Minus 155. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Hurricanes <laughs> minus 155. Predators, Predators minus Mike. one half plus 137 is my last hockey pick. Matt, anything in hockey? Um, yeah, I'll take something in hockey. Let's go with another Canadian team. Calgary plus 173 over Dion Phaneuf. Oh no, Bu- Dustin Bufflin and the Winnipeg Jets. All right. Mike, the the line on the uh the Predators <laughs> moved to plus 130. All right. Um, Mark, anything else in hockey or are we good? Nope. I almost just swallowed my gum. That would have been bad. Are we not doing that anymore? I don't think we swallowed gum. Winnipeg and Calgary also not close to each other just because they're in Canada. That's a 13 and a half hour drive. Oof. That's a, maybe that's what I was thinking. Had to be. Had you to got to drive over the entire province of Saskatchewan. 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 Let's go to oh, yeah. uh, NASCAR really quickly. Um, we'll just dip. I mean, I'm only doing one thing in, in NASCAR. And it's Denny it. Hamlin. Denny Hamlin plus 450 came through for me last week. The cookout 400, he's going to do it again. Go ahead, Mike. Take Chris Bell again. See how many, get how many races in a row you can All lose. Right, fine. I'll take Christopher Bell, plus 850. I'll take Martin Truex, my, plus 700. And I'll take Ross Chastain, plus 2,500. Whoa. Bush. Wow. And that means you know he's going to win. Bush Light. I will take winning manufacturer as a Toyota plus one twenty. So Ross Chastain was plus twenty five hundred, and then Toyota uh, winning manufacturer is what now? Plus one twenty. I actually thought about this the other day. Uh, I saw that Audi is getting into the F one circuit, and you know, remember we were talking about shit like racing. why don't uh, ship well, racing? They no, make left and right. Racing. So oh, thank you for clarifying your, your profanities. It's bad racing. Gee, left and right's what? They turn left and right during the race. Doesn't make they the racing mean. better. Oh, I thought you meant they made like ref- left and right-handed cars. I was like, that doesn't make sense. How would that- Because all cars are right-handed. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's not true. <laughs> what do you mean? Oh, oh, sit like this. Stick shift. All cars are right for righties. Uh, Radio. You ever go to Europe, Radio. dog? Have you ever, have you ever been the wheels England? on the other side? Oh, do you think I care? I'm just, you're, I'm, I'm just I'm commenting <laughs> on the fact you said all cars are for righties. Uh, you ever see a mail guy? The mail truck that drives wow. through my neighborhood. Ah, now you're wow. dead. Now you're big wrong. I'm very I'm big wrong. Oh, do you call it a mail car or a mail truck? Boom roasted. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. <laughs> What do you mean? I said all cars are for righties. I guarantee I could find a, a, a car for a lefty in the USA. Find it. No, because you'd have to put the controls on the door. Let me tell you this. Actually, <laughs> I, got a, I, got, I got a good one right now. I got a good one right now. So I got a friend of mine. friend of mine, right? Had to, had to lease a car in the year 2024. He uh, just got a lease. Got a brand new Jeep. Slick deal? I was making, nah, I don't know if it was slick, but uh, making jokes about, he was, I was making jokes. He, his Jeep, you cannot click it open or closed because there's no power to the doors. So he has to use a key to get in it. It's a 2024 Jeep. He's got to use a physical key to get into his car. And if he wants to roll up the windows or down the windows, it's a crank. Like it's 1994. Yeah, because the Jeep downtown open. has that. Their door's taken off. It's 2024. What are we doing? That's just I mean, they're not the older, the old vintage type Jeeps. I don't know. Well, Mikey Downtown's just no. a dumb person. That, no, it's a, not horrible. an old vintage Jeep. It's a 2024 well, brand new it's Jeep. The doors, He's not going to the road. The doors come off? The doors come off, but like, why? There's Jeeps that you can have the doors on that work fine hmm. is, with the power is buttons. There, is there? I have no idea. Imagine getting a car in 2024 that doesn't have a button where you can unlock and lock the door from a distance, Mike. Honestly, it's probably safer. Less for who? You're if Mark. How many times have you ran in a parking lot to your car <laughs> and got in real quick and turned the car on? Now you got to fumble with keys and you're like, oh, Am like I running it's from Michael Myers here. Like what? What are we talking about? Sometimes you play the game where you're, oh, uh, guy's chasing me. Mugamara's chasing me. So, batty bat. 
from Sabrina. She's a demon. All right. I thought that was crazy. <laughs> it's, it is. It's, it's definitely an annoyance. There's no doubt about it. Are we good in NASCAR then? I'm going to take Chris Bell top five finish plus 145. I would. Who's driving around suburban Pennsylvania without their top the w- doors on or windows on? It's not like you're in Florida. Like half the time it's cold here. I don't think it says crazy. I think you're crazy. I think it is crazy. It would be a, a an inconvenience that I would not like to get used to. That's what I'm saying. That's fair. Lay low, <laughs> sit down, everybody have a real good time. I mean, I can open my windows with the click of a button. Not being yeah. in the car, I did that once by accident, <laughs> so and did, I. did not did not know the sunroof also opens, oh, and rained. did not close that. Did not close <laughs> that overnight one time, and it was moist <laughs> in that car. That car was moist <laughs> the next day. I also did it once when I was in New York, and I was I was leaving to go home. I had my golf clubs in there and everything, and I was like, "Oh no, how long have these windows been open?" Mike found a squatter in his car. Squatter's <laughs> rights, bro. Sorry. My co- I live here that's now. My, that's rides. my Honda Civic. Let's go to the darts very quickly. Just Premier League. I only have two picks. Nathan Aspinall, minus 105 over Rob Cross. And then my lock of the week, MVG, plus 110 over Luke Littler. That's all That's all I got for you there. Mike, anything? No, I just lose every week in darts. All right, then we'll move on. Uh, let's go to the UFC. The UFC, I'm, is it back in the Apex, or is it a fight night elsewhere, Mike? It's UFC 300. Uh, I not. assume with this card, it's in the Apex. It's a fight night. Arnold Allen, or, or Vers- sorry, Brendan Allen versus Chris, Chris Curtis, Curtis is your yeah. main event. Uh, Ma- Mark, I'll start with you in the UFC. Uh, UFC, I'm going to go with Dylan Butka, minus 150 against Cesar Almeida. All right. how, is that a good pick, bad pick? You guys let me know. No idea. Yeah, that's what I thought. Dylan Butko <laughs> sounds like a homeland guy. It's the issue. It's the issues with some of these Apex cards. It's so many guys that you've never heard of at the beginning yeah. of their careers or first shots in the UFC. Uh, not first shot. Cynthia Calvillo plus one hundred and nine, taking her over Pierre Rodriguez in that one. Um, Mike, I'll go to you. Uh, I'm going to go with uh, Nora Cornell plus two hundred and seventy to start the uh, the night off there. I think that line should just be closer. I don't think I don't think the favorite should be minus three fifty. Favorite is undefeated, but Cornell's only got one loss in her career, so I think it should be closer. All right, my uh, Matt, anything in the UFC? Uh, yeah, I'll take Trevor Peak Abu plus one fifty five over Charlie Campbell. Oh, it's got a real I good sneak Trevor attack Peek that I'm excited to see. I want Trevor Peak on my card. I didn't see him. He does this <laughs> thing where he he so he's in his fighting stance. And then his hands go up real quick. And then the guy can't see him anymore. Then he comes back right in the face. It's his signature move. <laughs> so stupid. Uh, I'm on Gene Matsumoto, pl- minus 170. Same. Uh, on, uh, hey, me and Gene. Yeah, minus 170 on Bavada. Um, <laughs> you're, so that, it's, say it again, Matt. Hit it, me yeah, and Gene. Yeah, one person. One person in the world <laughs> knows what you're talking about. Mark, next one. I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually. I'm gonna look that up. I'm gonna go with another homeland. Well, I don't know if the first one was homeland, but he this one's not. definitely homeland. Uh, Lukas Breski, Breski against Walter Walker. What a weird name, Walter Walker. Why did you do a? Why did you <laughs> do an accent for Walter Walker? He's from Texas. <laughs> He's an Hispanic man from Texas. New to the Russian accent. <laughs> Walter Walker. Uh, plus 215 on Lukash. Lucas. Right, I'll put him on there for you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Mike, your next one. Uh, my last pick is Norma Dumont, minus 155. Norma Dumont. Yeah, <laughs> Why are you doing that? <laughs> you <laughs> from Brazil. Oh, He's from Brazil. What was that accent? What he went French. We going on? He went <laughs> French. Which that's good. It's good. I'm on Jermaine Duran to me in that fight plus one thirty two. She's Absolutely. not French. I know she's, she's from the Netherlands. I know. I said that. Uh, <laughs> you said, well, that's good. Like it was uh, a, like it was like a. I don't know. The, it was a good. I was hoping to talk right through that, Mike. I appreciate you stopping me. Uh, it was a good segue. Okay, that it doesn't work. Anything else in the UFC, Matt? 
Uh, yeah, I'll take uh, Ignacio. <laughs> Ignacio Bahamandes. Minus 350. You know, these new fighters, they've never fought before. They're he in has. the apex. He has. <laughs> He's good. Mark, are you good in the UFC? Yeah, I'm good in the UFC. All right, let's go to golf then. It's the Valero Texas Open um, this week, right? Yep, that's exactly what it is. But there's also Live Golf. Live Miami is also this week. Uh, I'm- <laughs> I thought you were about to just say Live Miami. Like, no, I was like, no. what? I'm on. Like, in- Why do you hate to live so much? We're in, we're in, live, we're in uh, Miami for the Live tournament. Everybody gearing up for next week's Masters. Um, yeah, you excited? Guy, who couldn't be? Georgia. Uh, Georgia. 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 Dude, I'm, I'm going to drink an azalea next week and eat some pimento <laughs> cheese. I'm so pumped, Drink dude. an azalea? It's, one, it's a drink it from a drink. Uh, the Masters. It's a flower, dude. It's a flower. Yeah, but they... yeah, dude. I just, dude, I'm gonna have a sandwich with pimento cheese. Everybody hates on cheese sandwiches, but then they're like, dude, a pimento cheese sandwich in in, in Georgia? Oh, yeah. Come on. I really need the Chick Fil A pimento sandwich to come back. I'm not gonna lie. I really enjoyed that. They already one. threw that out. It's it's been gone. It was a seasonal thing. It's been gone for like six months. But I got it like so every time. Couple seasons mixed in. Yeah. I, I need uh, I need it back because that one was oh. good. I know you guys don't like the pimento, but that I enjoyed. I had to retire the the spicy chicken sandwich from Chick Fil A. I had to retire it. Couldn't do it anymore. You feel the heat, <sighs> man. You can feel it. Is this guy giving out donuts at the Phillies game. He might be. That guy might be giving out home runs. The Phillies have a um, donut. They stink. Uh, I'm on. I'm on Brooks Kepka. I'm running the gauntlet here with him. Um, I'm taking him. What does that mean? I'm taking him top five plus two sixty, wow. top three plus four hundred on Bavada, and then yeah, outright plus sixteen hundred. It's it's master season. Kepka. It's a warm up for him to to then go next week to Augusta. So uh, I'm riding him in the live in the live tournament. Mike, anything in live? Uh, what's uh. Oh, I I don't have it up. I can't think of his name. Uh, Taylor I'll come back. Yeah, exactly. That's exactly what I was thinking of. What's his right. him to win? Outright is I plus eighteen hundred. I want that. I, and him and him I like top t- five or something. I cannot cheer for that guy. Was he the one who made the yes, comment about the live event? Yeah. No, he made the live event being like, I gotta imagine this is kind of close to like the Ryder Cup with how much excitement it is here. Oh, I don't know if he said. I that. don't know if he yeah. said that. He he's the one that said the. Uh, there's there if Rory wins the Masters, there should be an asterisk. Yeah, he's an idiot. Yeah. So, so Mike Taylor Gooch's t- top five is plus two ninety. Right, I'll take that. All right, Mark. Anything in live? Yeah, I'm just gonna take the uh, the team event. Give me the uh, smash at plus five fifty. All right, Matt. Anything in live? I'm taking torque plus four fifty. I'm also I'm gonna run the gauntlet. Uh, first round leader. <laughs> Dustin Johnson plus eighteen hundred, and then I'm gonna take jo- Dustin Johnson outright plus fourteen hundred. I think this is a warm up for the Masters. He doesn't really care. It doesn't seem like anymore because he's filthy rich and married to Wayne Gretzky. <laughs> so I um I think he's just kind of chilling now. So I think, but I think this two these two weeks is like all right. I gotta lock in if I want to win another green jacket. So I actually think I like Dustin Johnson next week too. So you're taking Justin Dustin Johnson top uh, first Justin Johnson <laughs> first round leader plus eighteen hundred and then Dustin Johnson outright uh, plus fourteen hundred. No, I'm taking Don Johnson's character from Tin Cup. Oh. That's who I'm actually taking. Justin no, Johnson. He's not. I don't see him on the on the board at Bavada. Uh, Isn't that Don Johnson? Is that guy Don Johnson? I have no idea. Antag- I think the antagonist is Don Johnson. Well, Valero Texas Open is also going on. All the heavy hitters are there, but I'm taking Russell. Or sorry, yeah, Russell Henley, top twenty plus one sixty, uh, top ten plus three seventy five, top five plus eight hundred, and plus forty five hundred outright. Confirm Don Johnson. Th- thank you top. for confirming it nice. on his IMDb, Mike. Uh, I'm going to take plays David Sims, Hideki Matsuyama, top twenty minus one twenty. He hit the ball down the street that just kept going and going. Right? What was it, Mike? Top 20? Mine and they were betting, pay, uh, betting cars. Yep. My, uh, Mark, anything in Valero? 
Yeah, I'm going to have a uh, first round Eagle uh, for Rory at plus 800. All right. Uh, Matt, anything at Valero? Uh, yeah, I'm going to take a first round top 10 finish for Matt Fitzpatrick at plus 275. All right. Uh, Mike, your next one. Uh, Akshay Bhatia, top 20 plus 160. Akshay Bhatia. Oh, let's go. Schwarbaum. Top 20 plus 160. Hey, let's go. Schwarbaum. Uh, I'm taking Harris English, top 20 plus 110, and Tommy Fleetwood, top 20 plus 110. Mark, your next one. Alex Noren, top 20 finish, even money. <laughs> top 20 at even money. Matt, your next one. Christian Bazudenholt, plus 2,000, first round brogy free. Brogy free, plus 2,000. Uh, Mark, your next one. My next one, I'm going to take Byung Hun An, plus 110, top 20 finish. Byung Hun An, top 20, and it's even money? It was plus 110. Oh, plus 110, sorry. Use your ears. I'm trying, trying to write and do it at the same time. My last pick is Brian Harmon, top 20 plus 120. Mike? Uh, I'm going <clears> to <throat> take Akshay Bhatia, plus 5,000 to win. I don't think he's qualified for the Masters, so I think he needs a good finish here to qualify for the Masters. He's got to do the JJ spawn from a couple years ago, win the tournament to qualify for the Masters. Yeah. Uh, all right, are we good? Game, but... Are we good in golf? Yep. Uh, I'm going to oh, take um, – Bazudenholt to win it all at whatever price I can get him at. I don't see him on there. Plus 4,500. That's it? Yeah, he's there. He's uh, sixth guy down on the left column. Yeah, I see him. Give me, yeah, throw that on my board. Give me Alex Noren plus 3,000 on my card outright. All right. Alex Noren plus. Oh, Bryce Harper. Yammo. All right. All right, so we're good to go then. Let's move on to uh, probably, I guess, the, the biggest sporting event of the weekend, and that is the Final Four in both the men's and women's side. You get two schools with multiple teams in, uh, in each. Uh, you get the UConn, uh, the UConn men's and women's team and the NC State men's and women's team both making the Final Four for their respective brackets, which is incredible. Uh, Obviously, you had the LSU-Iowa game. Uh, Caitlin Clark putting on a show. LSU coming up just short in their title defense uh, for making the Final Four. There's just going to be so much good basketball uh, on the college level over the next two – I hate you, Matt – uh, over the next yeah, few I'm days, be, I'm behind. So I was waiting. Yeah, I'm also yammo. behind. So I thought it was a <laughs> game. Yeah, out the the picture. Picture. <laughs> for the picture. He's got construction glasses on, and he, there's no yammo. I'm, va- I'm vamping, <laughs> just waiting to see the yammo, and he does nothing. Um, Sorry, guys. I thought you had cable. You I, know we don't. I do, but for some reason, <laughs> I'm behind everybody. I don't know what's up with this. What's up with the this cable here? Unbelievable. Well, no, regardless, let's think. start. Let's start on the women's side. Uh, Mark, I'll start with you. Many women's picks between uh, the South Carolina NC State game or Iowa UConn. Yeah, I'm taking USC minus twelve minus on my card as well. Uh, uh, this team's undefeated. They're well coached. They're well balanced, and uh, I mean, no one's talking about them because every all the other stars are on other teams. So. Yeah, I agree. Uh, they're also on my card. They've been the most dominant team the entire year. Uh, Don Staley doing a phenomenal job. I think I think it should be an easy win. Matt, are you in that game at all? I am. In what game? NC State, it's, South Carolina. Uh, I mean, South Carolina is going to win that game. <laughs> Good take. All right. Uh, um, then let's go. Let's quickly touch on Iowa versus UConn. Caitlin Clark versus Paige Bukers is obviously the, the headline there. Um, should be a fun one. Mike, what do you got? I'm just going to take the over 162 minus 110. I think Paige and Kalen are obviously going to show out, and I think there's going to be a lot of points. Over 162 minus 110. I like UConn in this game. I think they just have more talent. 
and I said it uh, about the LSU game uh, when they played Iowa, even though it was it was incorrect in how the, the game ended. How many of the, the starters on Iowa could start at UConn versus how many of the starters at UConn could start at Iowa? I think the UConn's just a deeper team, and they're going to have a better game plan to try to neutralize Caitlin Clark as much as possible. So I'm going to take uh, <clears throat> I'm going to take UConn in that matchup plus two and a half minus one hundred five, and then plus one thirty on the money line. Yeah, Mark, that other girl out had like twenty something. I can't think of her name. Yeah, I'm going to take Iowa because your your take was wrong last time. So yeah, keep I want Iowa here. now. Minus two and a half, minus one fifteen, and you know what? Make it my lock of the week. Damn. I want All Iowa right. on my card as well now. You, you I yeah, I'm gonna take Iowa. I was All gonna right, Matt, out it, but I'm on it now. Uh pay, or, Kaylin's gonna get hers, but uh, the the one girl dropped like twenty two as well. She gets like another like fifteen. Not Gabby Marshall, the other one. I can't, I, can't think of her name. I can't I can't promise I'll be awake for the end of that game since it's a nine o'clock yeah, start. Yeah, it's a real but, rough late game. That's crazy. But, uh, yeah, that's that's my lock. It's All right, Cleveland, Matt, Matt. right? Is that even an hour yeah, behind? Is. Isn't it Eastern? Isn't it Eastern Standard Time? It is time? Eastern Standard Time. Oh. Matt, anything in that Iowa game? You just thought Cleveland was in the Central Time no, Zone? I confirmed that it was an Eastern Time Zone. Even crazy. Why is that crazy? That you had to confirm I was just making Cleveland. sure. I cannot, when I'm in Cincinnati next week, I'm going to text all weekend about how I'm an hour behind. There's going to be so – did you get a new Stanley Cup? <laughs> yeah, because my other one broke. Man, my other one broke. Those things, they're made good. Made it real four good. years Stanley. old. There's no this way you a four-year-old Stanley Cup. What, you're telling me that you got in on the Stanley trend four years ago? My, you wife, set the my trend? wife had it for a long time. She got a new one, and I took it. So your wife started the Stanley trend is what have. you're trying to tell she me. She must have started the Stanley trend. I'm, I want Iowa minus two and a half. <laughs> okay. okay. Uh, let's go to the men's side of the bracket. It is, again, UConn taking on Alabama. Mark, I'll start with you. I'm going to go with UConn in this side, though. Uh, minus 12, minus 110. They have just been running through the tournament once again. Uh, Alabama's had a real nice run, but I think Sears will be contained – and Klingon, is, I thought they went out of business. <laughs> Klingon is just incredible. I mean, he had a great game last last game, and uh, I think he might he might be a better center than Edie. He's more athletic, at least. When did athleticism start to be so important in basketball? When I made a career out of being an athletic basketball player. Correct. By career, do you mean like yeah, you're finishing career. grade school? Like <laughs> I retired like two years ago. All right, I'm just I don't want to <laughs> I don't want to say anything that's going to offend, so I'm just going to leave it at that. My lock of the week is UConn minus twelve. What, what are you going to say? You didn't have an end, like career in basketball? Of course not, Mark. I never got paid to play basketball. I don't have a career. <laughs> All right. We're doing hyper bowl. Uh, I'm on. I'm on Alabama plus twelve in that game. Matt, are you in that game? I've learned my learned my lesson. They're just going to absolutely stomp them. They're going on some sort of run again, and then just bury them. Thirty and 0, 30 to yeah. thirty to run is insane. They're just the much better team. Um, I, I like uh, having the Illini in that game and and watching that thirty to run was rough. Matt, give me uh, give me your pick. I'm taking Connecticut minus seven fifty. All right. Uh, the other side of the bracket, Purdue taking on NC State, the darling of the tournament. Uh, I think Purdue dominates them yeah. as well. Minus nine, Agreed. minus 110. It's on my card uh, at Bovada. I just – I don't see – I don't see where, where Purdue gives it up. Mark? I, I disagree with you here. I think NC State keeps it close. Give me the plus nine, minus 110. Mike? I, I, I just – yeah, I'm I'm on with Greg here with Purdue at minus nine. I just don't see like this. There's somebody that can stop DJ Burns is Zach Eady. So I just don't see him having a good game yeah, against. Not him. if he actually gets some fouls called against him. Well, no. it, 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 there's a lot of historical evidence that shows that's not going to be the case. Yeah. Matt, anything in this game? Uh, which game? Purdue, the Purdue NC game. State. Uh, I like it. I'm gonna take <laughs> Purdue minus nine. 
And I'm hoping for a Purdue UConn game because I think that'll be a good final. I think if we see if we see Purdue Alabama, it's going to be a Purdue blowout. If we see NC State Connecticut, it's going to be a Connecticut blowout. So I'm not I'm not hoping for that. I think it'll be a good match. So that's why Purdue and UConn. Purdue UConn will be a fun game. Yeah, Hopefully we big, get it. That's why. Yeah. Men and then. I mean, so, so, well, like, kind of like 100% what I just said. That was great. You guys, <laughs> kind of, great. You're, you're, saying, you're just Wait, saying you what I'm saying now. No agreements on I the show ever. <laughs> I just can't go to the Capitol. <laughs> uh, no, but I'm taking um, my lock of the week is Purdue money line, Connecticut money line parlay together at minus 263. Okay. Yeah, get those, so, get those get on the board with some get some board so, with some logs. UConn, Purdue, minus two sixty three. Um, challenge what this challenge? week. We're gonna do. We're just gonna do uh, national champions from each uh, from each side, uh, men's and women's. Mark, I'll start with you. Men's national champion. Men's national champion. UConn goes back to back. Women's. Iowa. Iowa. Mike. Purdue uh, and Iowa. Purdue, Iowa. Uh, I'm going UConn, South Carolina to be unbelievably boring. Mark or my, Matt, close us out. Loser. Uh, Purdue and the Gamecocks. Purdue, South Carolina. Fellas, fun week. A lot of basketball, baseball ramping up. Maybe we might can uh, actually win something coming up, but we'll see what happens. YouTube.com slash the underdog. We're back on. Go ahead. What? Who won that game uh, today for Villanova versus. Uh... In the WBIT. They were losing the last time I saw it. Oh, I don't know. Before we before we leave, give me Indiana State against Seton Hall in the uh, minus three, minus one fifteen in the NIT. Oh, give me Seton I'll Hall. Take Seton Hall. Everybody's on Indiana State. Give me Seton Hall. Uh, yeah. Indiana State minus three. Minus one fifteen. Uh Seton Hall. Plus three. I'd Plus assume three. minus one oh five. Seton Hall. Yeah, Villanova lost to Illinois. Minus 105. I'm 10. staying out of that game because why add it late in the game? Uh, but back on YouTube, YouTube YouTube.com slash the underdog if you want to watch it. Twitter.com slash better is the light, whatever. Um, there was a TikTok at one point. I don't think it's still active. Uh, regardless, active. fellas, fun week. Uh, you know, let's go win some bets.